Hi, so today I got my Ink Drops subscription for June, and I also got a present for my husband just because I love him and he works really hard. So, I've only opened the package. I haven't looked inside. This came from Arthur Brown and Bro Incorporated, artbrown.com. So when I saw this, I knew this was for him. This is the Retro 51 Vintage Surf Wooden Tornado. He's going to love this. Let's open it up. He'll never know it was sealed. So my husband, um, he has a Retro 51 in stainless steel, just the plain silver that he absolutely loves. It's his pen that he takes everywhere. Nice packaging, sort of sitting in a little foam holder. Instead of the aluminum, it's a cardboard tube, although it's a little mashed in. Anyway, he loves his stainless steel one, and I can already tell he's going to love this. Wow, that is a beautiful pen. Let me fix the lighting here. I never know about the lighting. It's going to work. Oh, wow, that's a really nice pen. It's super smooth. I don't know if you can see the different colors of wood. There's just kind of a dark walnut color, and then like an ebony, and a little thin stripe of cherry. And then I don't, that looks painted. The white looks painted. Actually, I think all the lines are painted, but it kind of looks, those kind of look wooden. But the pencil is, it definitely feels wooden. Sorry cameras freaking out there that's really beautiful has sort of like a brushed no has like a gunmetal finish on the top he's gonna love it so yeah he loves his retro 51 just the stainless steel one and I know he's gonna like this because he's he used to be a surfer so let's see oh yeah Totally right, it's just like every other Retro 51, because that's the refill more than the pen. But this is really beautiful. He's going to love it. And it has stripes on both sides. Very nice. Nice job, Retro 51. My husband will love it. Okay, I'll deal with that packaging later. Because we have to make it look like, you know, I didn't take his pen apart. What did they send me? Oh, very cool. A pen catalog. Ah, nice. I'll be looking through that. <laughs> All right, first one down. The next thing is our Ink Drop subscription from the Gulet. Oh, there's another purple. Okay, <laughs> that's exciting. So they sent me labels for my bottle pen and a bookmark. So they don't tell they don't tell you what it is. What's in a name? June 2013. We decided to have a little fun this month and not tell you the names of your inks. These are all conventional inks, nothing crazy, but we wanted you to try them without knowing their names to see if that influences your impression. We'll be posting a contest on Ink Nouveau this month for you to take your best guess and we'll reveal the colors at the end of the month. We also included blank labels so you can write the names in once you know them. Good luck. So, we don't know what they are, but let's take a look anyway. So I'm going to get some white paper. I think that would be most helpful. I love the ink drops when they're colorful. These ones are all different colors. I like that. All right. <gasps> this one I'm so excited about. Can you see that? It's showing up a little more bluish then in real life, in real life, it is almost like a magenta purple. I wonder if I can... Let's see. I don't know if that will help. Maybe not. So, this is showing up bluer, but it's more of a magenta purple. Beautiful. I love it. That's my new favorite ink. What does this color remind me of? Barney. That's what this color reminds me of, Barney. Because he's sort of, is he magenta? I don't know. Then a really pretty blue. And the way that it's showing up on here, 
is different than in real life. In real life, it is a royal blue. It looks turquoise. That's not helpful. It looks, uh, in real life, it is a, a royal blue. It's not this turquoise color that's showing up. It sort of looks like, what was that other ink? It sort of looks like, Noodler's Blue Eel, but Blue Eel is a little bit more turquoisey. This one's a little more royal blue, I guess. That's kind of what it looks like. As you can tell, I was very organized for this. All right, the next one is a really pretty burgundy. It shows up much more orange in red on the screen than it does in real life. It's almost, it's like the color of blood, <laughs> but a little bit lighter and a little more pink. That's what it looks like in real life. Very pretty. Then, uh, this looks like a turquoise green. In real life, it's much darker than it's showing up on the screen. So, another turquoise. Must be like, somebody must love turquoise at the, at the Goulet Pen Company. So, and then the last one is brown. Yeah, it's it's kind of thin and watery, so it's not really sticking to the uh, the vial, and it's really hard to show up. Let's see. You can kind of see it when I tip it a little bit. So this is a brown, and it looks like just a, a um. Looks like a dark caramely color. Yeah. So, a dark caramely color, a, a true royal blue, a magenta hued purple, sort of a dark fuchsia, I guess, red fuchsia, and like a greenish turquoise. So, the ink drops and the vintage surf pin from Retro 51. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.